Good, good afternoon. This is a terrible tragedy. Mayor Adams has directed uh, the first deputy mayor, chief of staff, the deputy mayors and the commissioners to respond to this tragedy and other matters that are happening across the city. Uh, Commissioner Laura Cavanaugh will give us an update. Thank you. As the deputy mayor mentioned, a tr terrible tragedy has occurred here this morning. At 1018, a call came in from a neighbor reporting fire. A little over three minutes later, our first units arrived on scene. Upon arrival, there was heavy fire and reports of children trapped on the second floor. Members quickly went to work rescuing victims and delivering critical medical care. Tragically, we lost two young children here today and two more are in critical condition at the hospital. There are eight total patients from this fire, from the scene today, seven are from the fire. Two deceased young children, two kids in critical condition, two teenagers who are have minor injuries and are stable, one firefighter with minor injuries who is stable, and the mother who is not at the scene but is at the hospital and is in shock but is in stable condition. This is an incredible tragedy. The entire city has come together here today to support this family and this community. As you can see behind me, we have NYPD, OEM, the two deputy mayors and our chancellor, and we are here to support the family in any way that we can. I'm gonna have our chief of department, Jack Hodgins, provide some additional operational details. Good afternoon. Our units arrived here. Um, there was a report of people trapped. Um, they were coming down the adjacent block and they could see smoke and flames coming from this private dwelling. Uh, they arrived and they immediately uh, started an aggressive interior attack on the fire. Um, the entire second floor was engulfed in flames, so much so that the fire was coming down the stairs, which is very rare. So they had to get a hose line in there quickly they, once they uh, started to move in the hose line, they quickly extinguished the fire, and we found the victims inside, uh, all unconscious and um, needing, needing to be removed. We quickly removed them to the street and performed, firefighters started performing uh, CPR on all of the victims. So quickly after that, EMS arrived, and they administered um, advanced care and got them off to the hospital. Uh, it's a terrible tragedy today, and our members operated under very intense conditions to try to save these lives. We're going to have First Deputy Commissioner Christina Farrell from OEM talk about the resources available here at, for the community. Thank you. Uh, the Red Cross, we're in touch with the Red Cross, and they will assist uh, the family and other members of the community. As other needs come up, um, we will be here with the fire department and the police department throughout. We also wanted to remind people as this weather pattern continues, it is going to get very cold over the next few hours and for the next few days. The wind chills will be very low. Um, you know, people should heat their homes safely. They, if you are having issues um, with heat, you can call 311. We can make resources available. Any questions, Tony? We do not believe that that was an issue. We just want to let New Yorkers know ahead of this storm just to be very careful about that. But we do not believe that was an issue here today. Do we know what caused the fire and was there an e bike inside? There is no reason for us to believe that. The cause of the fire is under investigation. Could you go over the ages? It's a so we don't want to confirm that at this time. We're making sure family notification has been made. Um, all of the kids are under, who are either in critical condition or deceased, are under 10 years old or young. Is there that is under investigation at this time. We do know that two teenagers were home at the time. Do you know where the fire started? With, uh, inside the home? That is under investigation. It, it was in the back of the second floor, um, but the exact cause and location is under investigation. Do you know all the oldest teenagers that were the oldest teenager we believe to be 14, but that will be confirmed. And there were no adults home at the time, is that correct? We do not believe there was anyone other than the teenagers there at the time. Were, the, were, the, uh, were all the victims, did they reside in the home or were they all visiting? We Who's believe they're all related, that they are siblings. And if, if I may just ask it being Christmas weekend, a neighbor told us that she saw grown men weeping. Could you speak to the challenges and the difficulties that your crews who are trying to, to help these children in need in this horrible tragedy? Yeah, I mean, it's an incredible tragedy, you know, and, and, you know, we feel it as New Yorkers, our members, of course, our parents themselves. Um, this is right before Christmas. 
Um, they do an incredible job. Um, they deal with hard things all the time, but that doesn't mean that this isn't tough. It's tough for all of us. Last question. Everybody's good? Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you Commissioner. Thank, Thank, Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. 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 Thank you.